Hey guys, this is Slider with the M Cluster, and this is your Week in Geek Recap for week ending January 4th, 2015. When a group of orphan children are forced to move from their home in London, caretakers Eve and Jean bring everyone to the desolate and eerie British countryside. Forty years after Arthur Kipp slept, this supernatural horror film introduces this new group to the now abandoned L. Marsh House, an odd but seemingly safe location. It isn't long before Eve starts to sense that this house is not what it appears to be as the children in her care begin to disappear. As their house of safety becomes a house of horrors, Eve enlists the help of a handsome pilot to help investigate what's happening. She soon discovers that it may not be a coincidence that she has come to reside in a house inhabited by the woman in black. Starring Phoebe Fox, Jeremy Irvine, Helen McRory, this film is rated PG-13 for disturbing imagery. For the third week in a row, holding onto the top spot is The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, bringing in $21.9 million. Taking the number two spot is Into the Woods, bringing in $19 million. Number three is Unbroken at $18.3 million. Number four, the newcomer The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death, at $15.1 million. And rounding out the top five is Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb, bringing in $14.4 million. In an odd publicity campaign, Marvel released what they are calling the Ant-Sized Ant-Man trailer, which features extremely small images that are difficult to make out with the naked eye. A human-sized trailer is set to release Tuesday during the premiere of Marvel's show Peggy Carter to air on ABC, no doubt to bring fans of the MCU to watch the show. Given the relevance to things that are going on in today's world, it is interesting to see that starting January 9th, the Selma Walton Theater in the city of Selma will be offering free screenings of the film as a gesture of appreciation towards its namesake town. In a statement from Selma Mayor George Evans, he says, I'm so happy that the movie Selma will be shown in Selma when it's released to the nation. I am so grateful of the fact that Selma has been blessed to have a movie named after it, and I'm thankful to all the cast for selecting Selma to produce this movie. The real-life inspiration for the character played by Channing Tatum in Foxcatcher, Mark Schultz has gone on the record as saying he hates the film. The athlete, now 54 years old, slammed the movie on Twitter. His tweets read, I hate Bennett Miller, the film's director. Another read, Everything I've said positive about the movie I take back. I hate it, 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 I hate it. MTV.com reported that a Facebook account attributed to him shared another lengthy post with his criticisms of the movie. The movie doesn't show hardly any of my victories, it reads in part. It focuses on my losses. The personalities and the relationships between the characters in the film are primarily fiction. Although Channing is outstanding, the personality is not accurate. However, I think Channing played me the only way it was possible due to the confines of the director's vision. He later dialed it back on Facebook with the following statement. My story and my life are real. I am a real human being. While I may have tweeted out of anger, I in no way regret standing up for myself, nor do I regret calling out the only other man that had decision-making power concerning my image and legacy these past years. I apologize for the harshness of my language, but I am firm in where I stand. I will gladly go to any lengths to protect and safeguard the integrity and the truth of my story, my life, my character, and my legacy. If that is not worth fighting over while I am still alive, I don't know what is. Foxcatcher stars Channing Tatum, Steve Carell, and Mark Ruffalo. And that does it for this week's Week in Geek Recap. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and like us on our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and check us out on Google+. For last week's Week in Geek, click on the top corner. To check out some of our movie discussions, click to the right. And to see some of our comic shop discussions, click on the link below.